Hey guys, Rush here with another video. Today what I have for you is a device that lets you choose from four different outputs. And it's using a T flip flop, um, using Seth Blink's T flip flop. So, um, so it's pretty cool. I'll put a link for link up in the description for that. But it's a device that lets you choose from four different outputs. So right now it's on output number one, but then it circles around. So I'll give you an example. So if I click this button right here, you can see that it will change uh, positions right here, right? Now if I had a redstone torch under this block, then I could have redstone repeaters connected up to this uh, so it can give out its current. So now if I click this another time, it will switch its outputs, which is right here. Okay? And then finally, when I click it again, it will go into the middle, right, like this. Uh, and that's where I have the redstone torch under, so it will power up this right here. And then, again, if I push it, this again, this little button, then you'll see it will set itself here, and it's back to its original spot, and there's a black sheep here that I think I'll punch. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this. Again, this is using Seth Bling's um, T flip-flop, so I give all credit to him on the T flip flop but the actual four output thing I made so basically you want to start off with this little button right here okay now what you want to do is have about a block like this and then two blocks right here then you want to put a sticky piston this is very important right there now you want to have this kinda of hovering like that and then you need to put the redstone under here and have about three blocks like this put um, the stone up right here and then add another piece of stone right there okay now just have this come over here and then now you want a redstone repeater to be right here and this is where the piston will be so let's add piston right here and then we'll add a piston right here we'll add a piston right here and if you even wanted to you could add another piston right here so it has five outputs um, so that's why I think I'm going to title it device that lets you have up to five outputs. But, yep, but this time we're going to have the output be to right here. So we're going to dig in the spot right here and put a redstone torch here. Now we're going to have it start right here. Okay. Now, uh, we also need to add redstone repeaters to all of these. So just I'll connect this up to all of this. Um, and that's why you need at least one block right here. So let's just do this, and I don't care about you anymore, so I'm just going to remove you. Uh, so, uh, no, I didn't want to do that. So I'll just set this back up and remove this because I don't care about you either. And let's connect this up. So notice how all of it is adjacent to this middle block right here. So if these were all to go up at the same time, it'd be centered around here so now we have this set up so all we need to do is to get this to stop lagging so first output right there click it again secondly right there and now it's over the redstone torch so if we were to add redstone repeaters to this we can this glows and then we could add a door or a piston here whatever you want so we'll just add a piston right here so that's on so now Click, click this another time, it will switch outputs, and then if we wanted to, we could add another, uh, what do you want to call it, another redstone torch right here, so I guess we'll do that there, just for the sake of the video, and then we'll add this right here, and then we'll add another uh, piston right here. So, the black's in the middle right now, and we have our, our four outputs set up, so if I click this again, it will switch its output. Right now it resets back to the original start again. Now it switches over there. Uh, come back here. It switches outputs again, powering the other piston. And then finally in the middle. And then again back to its original start. So from watching this, you should know now that it does. it's not random. So if I'm correct, it goes from here to right here. To right here, then to the middle, then back, which is pretty cool. 
uh, I bet you could use this to set up some contraption lag. Like, for example, I set up um, a Morse code right here, or a combination lock, that automatically resets itself, or resets itself at the press of a button. Uh, using this, these have three outputs though, because it's a little bit more compact. Um, but I'll put up an annotation if you want to see that. So, that is how to make a mechanism, or a piston device, whatever you want to call it, that has four outputs. I hope you like this video, and be sure to subscribe and to check out my Morse code lock and Seth Bling. See you guys later. Um, be sure to subscribe.